Have you ever had something happen that forced you to make a quick decision? That could be in your family life, maybe in your career, or maybe even in your financial life. And you wish you had maybe just a little bit more time or maybe had better prepared for that situation. Find out what to do in this video when you're forced to make quick financial decisions. Hi everyone, Logan Sadler. Thank you for stopping by the Financial Beat YouTube channel for another one of our quick educational videos. If you haven't yet, go ahead and click subscribe and uh, get, go ahead and check out some of our other content we've been creating. Again, really enjoy bringing these videos to you each week. Today's video, we're gonna talk about those decisions you sometimes have to make. And sometimes when you're forced to make that quick decision, uh, we always ask ourselves, why did I wait till the last minute? Can I have done something different beforehand to better prepare? In this video, I wanna talk about three of the different items that kind of come to mind with meeting a lot of different people like yourselves watching these videos. As you guys know, I'm a financial advisor, so we get to hear all sorts of different types of uh, stories and different types of circumstances that happen to clients. The first thing I wanna cover is, uh, have you guys heard of the golden handshake? Maybe you have a job and they're offering a severance package. Um, or the golden handshake, so to speak. Uh, we have some clients where we're able to plan beforehand on what would the implications of that golden handshake be? How much would it really change your financial life? Does it make up for maybe retiring two or three years earlier, sometimes five years earlier? One of the biggest things I've seen is I have a client, or not a client, somebody I've just actually met with, and uh, she actually took a payout package and then called the financial advisor, which was us at the time, to come in and sit down and, and see how this severance package could help her. She made around $150,000 per year. The severance package was $50,000. And I know some of you listening, might that might sound like crazy math, and it was kind of crazy math because when you look at that, it didn't even make up for basically a half a year or so of her working. So it really didn't make that much of a difference in her retirement and she was actually had to go back into another job. There's other times where we could really plan ahead for those type of circumstances of if that handshake got offered, you typically do have some time sensitive uh, material to deal with there. Sometimes it's 60 days, sometimes it's 30 days for the offer. And you really wanna make sure you've already kind of covered where you're at. If you're getting close to retirement, I always say close to retirement is typically six, seven, eight years, five years away from retirement, sometimes sooner you should already have your retirement plan blueprinted out and know what's coming. Work with your advisor. If you don't have an advisor, we hope you give us a shot, but you really wanna be looking at what is the impact of retirement and where's that gonna get us, okay? So that's number one. Number two I like to cover is inheritance. This sometimes can be a very fast moving topic. A lot of you, when you have somebody pass away, one of the last things we wanna deal with is what am I supposed to do with mom and dad's assets or grandma's assets or aunt and uncle, whatever the case is. One of the biggest things you want to do is make sure that you know exactly what to do in that situation. Having the right financial help and guidance in that scenario can be crucial because a lot of those different account types, 401ks, IRAs, real estate, a lot of these different trusts and, and all these different asset classes, account types, they all have different timelines of when you should have things done and there might be implications to it. Life insurance, all of these different topics need to be covered. So if you haven't, if you have a financial plan with a, with a uh, estate plan in it, you should be talking to those relatives or those uh, people in your family that might be in, con in control of that and really start to kind of plan around if something were to happen, what am I supposed to do? And the people that are the beneficiary of that, you should already be planning and maybe have a financial advisor you work with and make sure that you already are on top of when that worst case scenario happens, okay? That's the other one. The other thing is really, really important. If you're one of those people watching these videos and hopefully you're not because you've watched a few of them by now, you really wanna make sure that you don't wait till the last minute to get that retirement plan. So I've seen it time and time again, we call it the fast track to retirement. Never thought about retirement a day in your life and you come in a year before you wanna retire and make magic happen. And it's typically not how it's done. Um, typically you wanna be planning for that retirement date. A lot of you might have 401ks, IRAs, uh, 403Bs, all these different account types, maybe real estate. And you're looking at how to get a retirement plan together. Sometimes the sooner you're able to get things together in your mid fifties, early sixties for that retirement date, 
the more time you have to work with and you're not forced into making that wrong decision or forced to watching the shot clock and having to react, you're able to plan and adapt for that retirement plan instead of just rolling with the punches, okay? So those are, those are the three things I just really wanted to get out there when you're planning for retirement that can be time sensitive and you can sometimes get forced into those situations and have to react rather quickly in some circumstances. So I appreciate you guys watching that video. Hopefully you found this educational. Leave a comment below on any other topics you'd like us to cover or uh, and go ahead and click subscribe to get reactions to our next videos. And uh, we really look forward to seeing you next week on our next educational video here on The Financial Beat. I'll see you guys soon. Thanks.